my friends! I had these glasses in my last video, but now they're broken. Shit glasses. We have to return them. I have another pair, though, but they make me look kind of like a fly. You know, the flies that have, like, huge eyes. But I have a third pair. These are much better. Oh, you touched my ta la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. I am back in Thailand here in this little apartment by the beach in Jom Tien. A bit of a small apartment actually, so I'm moving out soon to some other place. And I'm also gonna go traveling. I was in Malaysia and then uh, I've been to some other places too. I had also recently been in the country of Laos but came back to Thailand again. But I woke up today and I was feeling a bit, I don't know, like every time when I stay in a place for a bit of time, I just go, oh, it's so boring, I just want to go see something else or do something else, I don't know why. It's a never-ending story, it's been going on for eight years, I think. <laughs> maybe, as they would say in Thailand, very bad, maybe. I was back in a tall building in Thailand again, not doing very much besides from going to the gym and hanging out by the pool. I think it's because I can wake up and I don't have to do anything, really. So that's why I'm recording videos. I think celebrities in this world, um, they have so much money and so much time so they don't know what to do. So they go and get a thousand tattoos on their body and then they start taking drugs and they become unhappy. Like, there's so many celebrities or singers that have had that kind of outcome in their life after they had some kind of success. I, I obviously don't have a great success, but <laughs> I'm not a celebrity and I'm not rich, but I can wake up every single day at any time I want and do whatever I want. So then you don't appreciate the freedom as much, I think, after some time. The first year or two when I had freedom, I was like, yes, good, good, great success. But now I take it for granted, so now I wake up and then I think... So in this video we're not gonna just speak nonsense, we're also going to the gym. I'm gonna show you what I've been doing at the gym. Um, here at this uh, apartment complex where I'm at, Riviera Jom Tien. Also make some healthy food if you wanna see what I eat usually. <laughs> and maybe something else exciting. So first I was thinking about renting a house. Uh, but then the houses were mostly out of town and then I um, Came here because here I actually do meet some people at this apartment complex There are like thousand apartments. I think here So you always meet somebody at the gym at the pool, which is great If I had a house, I would just sit there by myself and probably don't know what I would do. I had this uh, Thought that if I just had a house, maybe that would be a great great success but then I thought about it again and uh, I think I would just sit in the house by myself and do nothing. Here at least I meet some people. Sometimes I go down there to the beach. And sometimes I go into Pattaya over there. Actually, we might insert a few clips of what I have been doing here in the recent week or so. I went to ride go-karts. My friend has been here from Sweden. Yeah, we got one Shang beer here for 100 bucks to calm the nerves a bit before we get into the go-kart and start driving. 70 kilometers per hour, so cheers to the go-kart. Yeah. Now we're here about to choose the helmets and then getting into the go-karts here. My name is Wasted Willy, it's my nickname, you can see me on the screen here. And my friend, look. And we're meeting Dave. Dave and uh, Chong and Lemon is gonna be our competitors. You also need a shower cap, shower cap before you put on the helmet. Very good, like an old lady. Very good. We took off in the go karts and they can reach speeds of more than 70 kilometers per hour or 45 miles per hour.
actually. My forearms are screwed. I'm so tired in my forearms. Woof. Woof. Good, very good. Very good. Oh, that's very good. <laughs> so we have one more ride now. So we got the results here. Uh, we got place three and four out of four. <laughs> We got beat by Dave and Mr. Simon. They had like a six second faster lap than what we did. My fastest lap was 49. Mr. Simon's was like 44. And Dave was also 44. We need some energy for the next race. Good. Here we go again, second time, very good. We have to start them. That was the end of the second run. I didn't film that much, but I did much better. Let's look at the lap times here. We'll see. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Simon, he won again. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the lap times, my friend, master. Like, the more you do something, automatically you just get so much better at it. That's the same with everything in life. Like, it doesn't matter what it is, music, writing books, like, you just have to do it over and over and over again. Sets and reps to get better at things in life. For sure, I got a much faster lap time this time. Second place after, after Mr. Simon. Wasted Willy comes to second place, good. I did it my friends, I shaved my head. I hope you like it. What do you think about my new style my friends? I hope you like it. I'll get some chicken from the freezer here. Put it outside in the sun maybe. One hour in the sun and the chicken will be ready. I had some breakfast earlier. One thing in Thailand here, you can buy five liter milk bottles. Good. Five liters. Very good. <laughs> ah, it's like a petrol tank. Gas tank. We need some more gas in the tank so we can go to the gym and get pumped up. Should I go to the gym or should I go to the gym? That's the question. Supreme. I am a supreme person now. You got to see the doctor tonight. There's only one thing that I really know for sure. That I am, that I am crazy. Oh, hey, oh, I'm Dr. Bomb Bombay. If you want to go to the gym, all you have to do is listen to Dr. Bombay. You get ready. Come and be the doctor. One thing I thought about here in Thailand was like, you buy these six liter water bottles, it's so much waste, like so much plastic that goes to waste. And there's no better, better solution, like in Mexico for example, you have these 20 liter, 5 gallon water jugs and water trucks that would come with the water and then you could reuse the water uh, jugs. But these ones you just throw them away. Lots of waste, maybe we'll start a water truck here in Thailand. Let's see, my friends, if we can juggle with these three water bottles. My friends, it's time for the bowling championship. We have one baseball, we have six, six liter water jugs. Or 
actually not. Two out of six, my friends, we have to look at the scoreboard here to see the stats. Now, second attempt for a spare. Here we go. Second attempt for the bowling championships. This time I'm attempting a sideways spin. Now, my friends, time for the scoreboard again here. First round spare. Go, 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 go. Now it's all or nothing. Either strike or nothing at all. We have to relax a bit. Actually, this bed is not bad. It's a bit small, this apartment, but not bad. I like the view. But it's still nice. Like, I have everything I need here. Now, second round, my friends. Second round ahead of us. Here we go. One ball, one strike. Ah. One left, maybe. One left. Can we get a spare again? Here we have the scoreboard again. Second round, also spare. Now we have the third and final round. Can we get a strike for the third and final round? Here we go, here we go. I am the bowling champion. Spare, spare, strike. This baseball is going up for auction. One million dollars. One million dollars for the bowling champion with the baseball. Can I get one million one hundred thousand? Yes, one million one hundred thousand. One million two hundred thousand. Red lady in the corner. One million two hundred thousand. One million three hundred thousand. One million three hundred thousand. Blue man in the right corner. One million three hundred thousand. Go. Sold for one million three hundred thousand. Oh, the chicken, chicken. Oh. So we have to prepare the chicken first. We have uh, <coughs> tomatoes. Uh, one tomato. Chili. Half an onion, lime, kidney beans, frozen veggies. So we're gonna start out by cutting the chicken. It's still frozen. Oh. Now we have four pieces of garlic and uh, some onion also. The onion and the chili. The garlic, onion and chili. Oh! I like to put in the garlic, onion and chili before and then slightly after put in the chicken. So the chicken can soak up the flavors. Very good my friends. So, we don't want to eat undercooked chicken, so I usually put in a bit of milk so it starts boiling together with the milk and I believe the milk also adds some good flavor to the final outcome of the chicken. So that way it's boiling and the chicken gets cooked way quicker and we save some time. And also we don't get sick from undercooked chicken because when it's boiling it really heats up the inside of the chicken. A bit of sweet and sour sauce. So now we're putting in the veggies and also some kidney beans. All 
a little bit of tomato sauce. I made some pasta yesterday. Good, good. So we're gonna eat this and then go to the gym, go to the pool and then play some more bowling. Actually, no, I'm just kidding. We're not going to play more bowling, but we're going to finish this <sighs> delicious meal. <sighs> also, we squeeze the lime over it. So we get some more vitamin C and not scurvy. Have you heard of the disease scurvy? But the Vikings of Sweden used to get it when they were going on their ships, their Viking ships, because they didn't eat any fruit, only meat. <laughs> And then if you don't get vitamin C, your gums can start deteriorating, <laughs> bleeding and stuff, really dangerous. <laughs> you can look it up, scurvy, it's called scurvy. They didn't know what it was, what was causing it for the longest time, like back in the day. But then they figured it out, so they started bringing lime on their Viking ships. So let's try it now. If you want to go to the gym and gain muscle mass, this is a really good meal. You have so much good stuff in here. Chicken is protein, the kidney beans also protein, pasta has both carbs and protein, and then a bunch of veggies with a good amount of uh, stuff. Very good. Green peas and the carrots. Mmm. 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 My friend and I, we were riding jet skis right here by this beach not long ago. So I'm gonna insert a few of those clips now. The area where I had been is not the most typical travel destination in Thailand, but quite calm, really developed and not so many people. Now we're here on the beach in Jom Tien and we're gonna rent jet skis. Thousand baht for 30 minutes. We just talked to this guy here. He has a banana boat also. Okay. Jet ski time, my friend. Uh -huh. Okay, jet ski, jet ski. Whoa! The waves are kind of big actually. Woohoo! going for like 15 minutes now you get so tired in your forearms when you're on the jet ski especially when you have to uh, <laughs> like stabilize yourself when there's a wave coming and then you jump go to the gym on the seventh floor. So here is the gym again that maybe you've seen before. Doing some incline bench press here. Maybe 10 sets of this and then some other chest exercise. Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do a bit of flies on this bench here. So now we're gonna do pulls, chest pull. Well, I don't know what you call it, but a machine where you just push, not pull, yeah, push. So now I have done maybe six or no, 14, uh, 16 sets maybe of chest exercises. I'm gonna do some dips here on the 
bikes because there's no uh, place to do dips so we're doing it between the bikes here I've done maybe 20 sets, just chest exercises now. That's usually what I do. One or two muscle groups, 20 sets total. I used to do two muscle groups, but I would just get so tired. So now I started doing just one muscle group when I go to the gym usually, and then sometimes some abs. Now my back is not that sore, so I'm gonna do a few pull-ups just to get, get a bit extra back, but then we're doing probably tomorrow a proper back workout like 20 sets back now maybe three or four just to get a little bit pump Now we're going up to 37, the 37th floor. We're on 42 here, you've probably seen this before in these videos. Uh, quite nice. The pool is my favorite. Way back. Here's really quiet and calm. Been here, cool off a bit is the plan. I'm gonna jump in here and cool off a bit. Also, my friend from Italy is here. Today it's Sunday, it's <laughs> almost empty, and it's finally sunny. Finally sunny, yes. Finally sunny after a few rainy days. Yeah. And uh, so we enjoy the pool now. <laughs> So we're going down again. My friend from Italy, he said he was gonna make some pizza. <laughs> Italian pizza. He bought an oven. So he has like a professional oven to make pizza. I'm back. We're gonna take a shower now. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, here it comes! Here it comes! It's going to be a lot! I am back, my friends, friends, friends. I took a shower and now I'm sitting here. What can we do, my friends? What can we do? Oh, by the way, I bought this case. <laughs> it's a bit like a childish case, but that's all they had. So I had to buy this case. There are some kind of monsters on it. You see the monsters. <laughs> Your health is number one most important thing in life, I believe. If you don't have your health, you have nothing. Like, health is always number one. So I'm happy that I am. I can breathe and I'm healthy. Good. We're gonna eat some more. Some more pasta now. Or chicken. This is so much better than food from the restaurant. I always feel kind of bad when I eat food from a restaurant. Also, like, a lot of things you buy in this world. And poison. <laughs> For example, pasta is wheat, right? And they put a bunch of chemicals on the wheat. So there's no um, right, chemicals and pesticides. So there's no insects or parasites that 
common leech on the on the wheat but then you put that in your body and it goes out to every single cell in your whole body everything you eat goes out throughout your whole body to every single cell veggies and fruits are also pesticides and a bunch of poison just to maximize profit for companies mm, very bad cancer has skyrocketed like exponential graph in the past I think 50 years or something it's because of all the shit that we eat put in our bodies and also pollution and shit in this world this whole world is driven by greed greed and maximizing profit it doesn't matter like if it's harmful for your body so many things you buy in the store are really bad for you Nom nom nom! Mm. Ah. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> I've been sitting here for a bit now. I was thinking about going out, but I decided to eat some salad instead. Cabbage and tomatoes. Nom 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 nom. Thank you very much for watching this video, my friends. In the next video, I'm getting on a flight and going somewhere. So you don't want to miss that video. So you have to subscribe to the channel. Click that subscribe button below this video. But thanks for watching. Again, thumbs up for the video. Also, you can post a comment if you want to say something. But see you next time, my friends. See you next time. And thanks. For